Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 4, Episode 6. This is another good episode, some really fine painting. Let's get started. Before we start this uh, recap, I want to tell a little story because it's applicable when we get to the finals of this particular episode. There is a scene in a movie called Broadcast News, which was made back in the late 90s, I think. And it is a movie where um, Holly Hunter is the act main actress, and she's the producer of a news program. And a crisis happens in the world, and she has to have her news anchor anchor information as it's, as it's coming in. And the other actor in this scene is um, uh, John William Hurt, William Hurt, yeah. And he's, he's, he's kind of a doofus. So he doesn't actually know about the world. He's just very good at being the anchor man. So she's feeding him the information through an earphone and tells him exactly what to say. And so he nails this particular crisis on screen. And later they're doing a debriefing and the head of programming for the network has come down to the, the room and all of her colleagues are around. And he, there's a conversation about whether or not, um, how, they handled, how the situation was handled, even though it was handled successfully. And at one point, and she, I believe she's the only woman in the room too, but at one point, uh, her, the boss of all the bosses says to her, well, it must be nice being the smartest person in the room. And Holly Hunter says this so well. She says, no, it's terrible. And when we get to the end of the episode here, I think we're going to see one of the best painters that has ever been on this program. And I think he knows he's the best. And he's not going to get through this particular episode. And I just have a feeling that his sentiments inside his head were the same. Must be the best painter being in the room. And I suspect he would answer, no, it's terrible. Now let's get to the recap. First up is Claire Skinner, and I've been watching her career for a very, very long time, ever since she was very young to probably now, we're probably around the same age. I just find everything, every role that I've seen her in has been delightful. She's an actress, obviously, on, on the BBC. Okay, four hours after the, the competition starts, the artists turn their easels around, we get our first look, and it looks promising, doesn't it? Sure does to me, but let's see what happens. All right, here's the first one up. Oh boy. Well, we got some problems here right away. I really enjoy this longer view where you get to see the model, you get to see Claire looking at her own image. I think you can see from here, it absolutely looks nothing like her at all, which is I'm standing by that criterion. It has to have a resemblance and this doesn't. So I'm not even going to consider that painting in, in my calculations. Now Claire is gonna take one of these paintings home and so it's always interesting to see which one they choose. Here's her second choice. This also does not look like her at all. And I don't think it's the angle, something about it. I mean, she has, she has very, very chiseled features and there's a, a roundness and a heaviness to the portrait that I see there. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Um, let's see. Whoops, oh, I left the uh, video for a second, but now I'm back. Close up, wow, that's really fine work, close up. Really beautiful, beautiful work, but, but it doesn't look like her. All right, here's the third one. Whoa, this guy, you know, you know when you nailed it. He nailed it. <laughs> this looks like her. It looks exactly like her, and I think she's, you can see by her response that she recognizes that as well. Now, I wish that the uh, shoulders had been a little bit darker because right now it suffers a little bit by that island surrounded by oceans issue where you have a painting and it's surrounded by a, a mass, an ocean I would call it, and I wish it was anchored in a little bit more. But when you look closely, you see that it is. It's just his choice of, of color to anchor it in. It just wasn't strong enough for my eye to pick it up from far away. Wow, that is, that's beautiful work. So which one will Claire pick? Well, I'm not surprised at all. She picked this one. How could you not? There, yeah, see, it looks more anchored in and there. Boy. All right, hands down, this guy should win. My gosh, that is, that is good, good painting. Ah, but knowing this program, 
he probably doesn't have a chance. So let's see what happens next. Kenneth Grandham, Grandham is the next one. He's a Scottish actor with a resume that is about as long as um, a Chinese uh, restaurant's menu. Holy smokes. And he brought this picture of his young self, which I thought was really funny because, you know, a lot of these actors that we know as senior citizens were heartthrobs back in the day. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm sure I'd seen him on Masterpiece Theater and something, and he looks completely different now. I mean, now he's at the age where you go and you play uh, King Lear, right? So the artists turn their easels around. This looks really promising, especially that one that's right in front of us. I love how informal. I didn't mention that he was in shorts. <laughs> You know, all this dignity above the waist and the shorts below. That yeah, was kind of fun. All right, here's the first painting. Again, it's really fun to see the model looking at their own reflection, hopefully. But let's see when we look at this a little bit closer up if it has a resemblance to him or not. Let's take a look. Um, not exactly. I like the brushwork. I, I, there's a lot that I like about this painting. <sighs> Um, yeah, but it doesn't strike me as looking like him, but I, I, I do like the composition and I like the brushwork that, that they've done and their color choices. Everything's pretty cohesive. So good job. Ah, now this one, this is different. This one looks like him. Yeah, that has a strong resemblance to him. It also incorporates, as we saw earlier, the chair and, and, and really his entire figure. I, I don't think it included the feet, but we were definitely below the knees. And it has a relaxed, you know, the relaxed body language there. That, that's, uh, that's a sign of somebody who's uh, painted a lot of portraits for sure. The next one up does not look like him at all for me. It looks like... Um, it just doesn't resemble him. It resembles someone who looks somewhat like that. Oh, I don't know, let's say ye old shipping captain, right? But but doesn't look specifically like him. Uh, it's not a painting. There's nothing about the colors or the brushwork or anything about it that kind of really excites me. I like it a little bit better close up. Yeah, things are better there, but we don't have a resemblance, and, and I have to stand by that only because it's a competition. Portrait Artist of the Year. Portrait is the first name in this program. It matters. It matters if there is a, a recognizable uh, look between the sitter and the uh, and the painting. Let's see what kind of this pick is. This didn't surprise me at all. It's one I would have picked for sure. That's just a beautiful painting. Yeah, and that'll go in his home. Nice choice. I also like that she, you know, the background behind him was black and white, a very striking black and white. She softened that up. So there were some choices made here that were very effective. So good job. The artist was dialed in. All right, the next up, I'm sorry I'll pronounce this wrong, Soap Dirisu. I'm sure that's not correct. And he is an actor, and he only started acting, and really it looks like from um, 2.15 on. So he's been in quite a few roles in the last few years, but but hasn't been, uh, isn't, isn't someone that I recognize from from a lot of programs because I tend to watch either uh, BBC or BritBox or Acorn, which all kind of stream those those English programs. So th they put them in a very stark setting, which is unusual for them. They like to be creative, but in this case they were not. And here's the first one up. Okay, doesn't look like him. There we go. Been doing these these uh, recaps for a while, and you know you either know someone's hit it or they haven't, and uh, that that certainly looks similar, but it is it's it's not the same man. Let's see when we pull back. You see, look at them, look at them together. You can see it it is not. It doesn't have his same features. It, it just doesn't. So, all right, the next up. This is one of those paintings. I do this at least once an episode where they will show you the smallest amount of a painting. It's like there and it's gone. So we didn't get to see this for very long. Again, does not have a resemblance to him. I'm, ah, uh, boy. And I, I don't know if that's the time constraint, but I, I don't think so. Too much about it proportionally is off. It's just a generic, uh, nice painting of a face, but not him. Whereas this one, this one looks like him. Wow, that's a good job. Yeah. That's the difference. The difference between good painting and great painting is 
It's probably a pretty subtle difference, but you know it when you see it. It's just, you know, as one artist will say to another, you know, when they say, you nailed it, well, that's the ultimate compliment because you know, you know that they know <laughs> that you know that you did a good job and, 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 and did exactly what you were either hired or, or set out to do. So that's a, ni that's a nice work. Um, I don't know what's... Uh, so now he has to pick one. Let's see which one he picks. Oh, I did a close-up. Oh, I'm glad I did that. Wow, look at that work. That's nice. That's really nice. you got to remember, each time you're taking your brush, you're mixing a color, you're applying it. You know, that's so carefully studied and done. Let's see which one he picks. I mean, that was carefully studied and done, and yet um, has a freedom and a... a um, it's not stiff. So this is the one that he's taking home, the one that we just saw in close-up. It, it, looks, it looks absolutely fine from far away as well. So that's always uh, really important because the final person chosen, not today, but in the finals overall, it'll be a gallery commission that has to read from across the room. Here comes the final judging. There they are. Oh, bless their souls. So exhausted, so hopeful. <laughs> I would be curled up in a fetal position by now because <laughs> I couldn't handle the stress of this for two seconds. Let's see who the semifinalists are. They're going to pick three of these people who will go forward. All right, of course. How could you not pick this one? That picture of Claire is just spot on. So well done. And I know in the past I've been enamored by more fractured types of painting but uh, and kind of complained about blending, but she nailed it. This one as well. Nailed it. Beautiful job. I don't know what the judges are going to do. I, in this case, there's there's no way. There's no way that I could judge one against the other here. They're equally, equally deserving. Let's. Oh, man, this one too. Okay, so here's the third semifinalist. Good, strong field. Now, there's no way that I could send any of these people home. But let's take a look now. This has started to be the most interesting part of the program where you get to see the digital picture that they send, which is always a self-portrait, which gives them entry into the show that they had all the time in the world to do, and the piece that they did today. There's definitely a similarity, and you can see when the person has more time, we'll get an even better painting. So they're going to be they're going to be a strong contender. They can handle the the assignment that that might be ahead. Ooh, boy, look at that! Wow, that's so well done too. How are you going to decide between these? Um. Yeah, the one she had way more time on is definitely taken further, which means that she has the skill to do that, and yet made full, took full advantage of the time that she had today. And again, consistency of style. You know, consistency of style over time when you're a professional artist is pretty darn important. So let's see what happens with the third one. Again, we're going to see a self-portrait, and then the work they did. Oh my gosh. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Okay, now, now I don't even know what to say. I mean, uh, oh my God, <laughs> wave the flag, you know, call, game called. How does this guy not win the whole program? I, I, I can't imagine. I mean, this guy has skills on top of skills on top of skills. Oh boy, I f here they are, the three waiting to be judged. And I, I thought they would pick the one on the far left. How could you not pick that one, especially after seeing his self-portrait? But do they? Well, you've been watching this program long enough. The winner is... Dun, 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 that one. I couldn't believe it. If I was going to have uh, three that were worthy, this would have been my runner-up. But this is the one they chose. So this person will go forward and will be in episode... Nine. Episode 9 is when all the finalists from these different episodes are going to show up and paint in competition. So that's nine people. That's going to be really interesting. So remember to keep the white to your paper white, your paint sweat, mask for value, mix for color, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.